So, uh, when we last played, uh, we did not have the the grace of Angie's presence. So, very quickly to bring her up to speed, uh, there was a conversation with some goblins that involved some barbed comments being thrown one way and the other. And the goblins were very tired, so they laid down, and the conversation ended. Um, oh, that's good. They were tired. Then no killing. We, we did. All, yeah, they were. They were tired. Session, so yeah, they we all sang a song last with session. Arrows in their heads. Yep. Angie's got to sing a song this session because we all did one last session, didn't we, guys? Everybody yes, did a solo. Did. Yeah, definitely. We all had me. Yeah. 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 I was kind of listening when I was on holiday. So lies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we know. You were playing from chat, which I thought was hilarious. Um, <laughs> Do you know me, Ange? You know that I would sing. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> so as we uh, dealt with the goblins, they returned to... They found some interesting things, and uh, they returned to the cottage. Some, some uh, unclaimed loot was found, and the group divvied it up and decided to... Uh, that they're going to spend some of it to actually pay off uh, old man Breaker to kind of buy the cottage, if he's amenable to that. And uh, so they went to speak to him, in addition because uh, Jake, who is a new person that you have recently met, uh, Shadon, the elf from Rivendell, uh, has a message to pass on. So they went to look for old man Breaker uh, the next morning, uh, which is the we're currently in the 10th I believe yes the 10th of Thrimmage so early spring literally like the second week of spring and um, Old Man Breaker was not at home there was some discussions with people around the mansion uh, and it was determined that Old Man Breaker on days like this whatever that meant uh, the old groundskeeper said that uh, Old Man Breaker has gone to a ruin that is just down the way on the edge of what is essentially Old Man Breaker's property. And so all of you decided to head out that way. Um, the It is a ruin. It's tumbled down. Walls have fallen. There's no roof. There's no evidence of upper floors, although a building of this size certainly would have had some at some point. The ruin itself is choked with these dark green uh kind of uh vines with thorns uh very thick and you have seen them before uh they are not uncommon in the world uh but they are uh to some people an indicator of something's maybe not right uh especially the rangers have kind of an interesting relationship with them at any rate, so the ruin is is kind of overgrown, and everybody was the fellowship was having a discussion about what they should best do, uh, quite loudly actually. Uh, and you know, as usual, Miss Master Cotton decided to shout out, and around the corner came Old Man Breaker and invited some of you to, well, all of you, to come around the corner and have a seat with him. Uh, although, uh, interestingly enough, if anyone notices, uh, Hampson is not there when you come around the corner and sit, oh, if you decide to, uh, at a kind of small seating area in front of a large weeping willow uh, with Old Man Breaker, who has what appears to be a foldable table. Uh, maybe a light lunch, a bottle of wine, a single glass, the question was asked. And uh, he invites all of you to have a seat, and that's where we left it last time. And of course, Hampson has decided to enter the ruins. Uh, and that is where he is at. So let's start with Hampson, actually. Uh, and let all of you consider what you might discuss with Old Man Breaker. Hampson, you're in the ruins. You've stepped over some of the vines. Uh, it is quite overgrown here, but someone of your size has relatively le little trouble getting around, and you've probably had some experience in the old forest, um, rooting around in the undergrowth for mushrooms or other tasty tidbits. So what are you doing? What are you looking for? 
I, I'm looking for anything. My my uh, Hamson is uh, is an inquisitive individual who likes to search and find things, not just new recipes and new things to cook, but always those interesting things that would get a good tale or perhaps a little bit of treasure. So Hampson is just searching around the ruins, looking for anything anything unusual, not having been in these ruins before. Sure. Just kind of looking so, around. Did we we did do a scan roll last time and that was failed. Okay. So and I believe that was for you entering the ruins and searching around. Uh, you know what? New week though, new chance. Let's let's go ahead and do a scan roll. Let's start off with that. Okay. I'm just getting my character up. It's just loading because, of course, it's sure. Fine because it's roll twenty. Right, I am going to use. We we have some hope, don't we? Does hope? How does hope regen back? We don't get it back at the end of the session, do we? So generally, hope is gained. Generally, hope is gained when you uh, have a kind of a downtime period, which is what's referred to as a fellowship phase. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, however, um, there are also ways to earn back hope during the adventuring phase. For example, the few times where Shadon has tried to like tell a tale or sing a song of the old days, had he been successful with a song check, he would have been able to restore some hope to people. All right, cool. Um, yeah. Oh, we lost Scoon. All right. I, I, there he is. I am going to yeah, add, add I a don't point know why, hope. but uh, suddenly my... Uh, it, it just resets. My Discord just restarted. <laughs> Strange. Yeah. Well, you back. Yeah, that's what's really important. Like I accept. You know, all sorts of weird things happen. I didn't think um, anything, it just happened. I'm going to use a, a, so a point of hope to get a bonus dice, don't I? Yes. Now, are you favored? Uh, I am, he says. I believe I'm favored with scanning, yes. And do you have any distinctive features that could affect the role? Um, 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 um. um. I know he did have a hearty breakfast. Inquisitive. So, honestly, since you have the distinctive feature, and you described it to me, essentially, without even realizing that I was going to ask, uh, you, in spending hope, you actually achieve a magical success. Ooh. Huh. Um, so it's an automatic success. And just basically, you know, is there anything in specific you're looking for, or do you want me to just go with it? Let's go with it because I, he's looking. Okay. He doesn't know what he's looking for. He just knows that. Sure. Why there's would he? Some, something here. There, there's something yeah. to uh, mean that old man Breaker comes here with, you know, a, a table, lunch, and his his wife and yeah. is dead, and she's possibly here. So maybe he's maybe he's going to find a ghost. That's kind of what he's hoping deep down. There's a ghost here. He wants to have a conversation with a ghost. Never, never seen sure. a ghost before. Now, as you're searching, um, you the first thing that's going to happen, and this is not a consequence of your search necessarily. I don't want you to be afraid to want to search for things or make rolls. Uh, but you are going to take a point of shadow because you feel a sense of despair. Uh, just oppressive sadness and despair as you get down on your hands and knees and kind of search around and kind of duck under some of the 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 tangle and you find very quickly what appears to be a recently dug up grave and in the grave that you nearly stumble and fall into is a skeleton. Hello? Uh, are you there? Ghost? No? No? So you do feel, with your magical success, you do feel a presence. 
But as you get that feeling, you also kind of look up and note that sun is streaming into the roofless ruin and filtering in through the uh, the the vines and the thorns. It's quite beautiful, actually, in a in a kind of dreary, overgrown way. And you're thinking maybe that something is trying to reach out to you. you but in all the ghost stories you've ever heard, they only come out at night. You, you didn't get buried with your cooking book, did you? No. So as you look closer in the grave, you note that there is the 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 skeleton is kind of wearing what would have once been an elegant uh, uh, dress, and you get the sense that she was someone of nobility on some level. Uh, the dress would have once probably commanded several hundred pence, if not several gold crowns. Oh, and dress, madam. Uh, her shoes are there, and they would have once matched the dress beautifully. Interestingly, though, and, and knowing what you probably do of, of people with expensive tastes, uh, she's not, there's no jewelry, which seems odd to you. Not going to say hello, then. No. No. <sighs> well, it, it's been a pleasure. I'll have to go and tell everyone about this. This could be interesting. Hey, I might want to see this. So, jumping over to everybody else. Old Man Breaker has offered all of you a seat. There's plenty of benches. I mean, there's several benches kind of arrayed in a circle, so there's plenty of room for you to sit down individually or sit next to each other if you wish to. Um, Old Man Breaker's kind of commanding the space on the bench that he's just sat down on. He's kind of spread out with all of the things that he's brought with him and his little table. Um, I think Ananiel will stay stood up. Um, just because that's what she's used to, but it's, um, as he takes a seat and gets comfortable, literally the first thing he's gonna say is, um, so, so what is this place? Okay, uh, so in response to your question, he kind of looks over at the ruin, because remember, you're not inside of it. And this area that you're in, under the, the weeping willow with the, the, the ring of, of nice, fine stone benches, uh, it's freshly, the lawn is freshly mown. Uh, maybe it's something that he's done. Possibly it looks like maybe with a, a hand push mower, which would be, you know, what they would have. And it looks like a lot of care is being taken of the tree in this kind of small area. And he just kind of looks over at the ruin, sadly, and says, this is, uh, this is my family holding. This used to be the seat of my, my family. Oh, what, what happened to it, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, well, it was ruined long before I was born. So it's been I like still this for a very long time. Yes, generations. Uh, I still come out here occasionally for the the peace and the connection and and other things. Are you the one that's been keeping this tree so full of life? Oh no, it's not not me. I don't think. I mean, I I tend the area, but I don't I don't know what I would do to keep such a magnificent tree like this so hardy. And there is no indication that the the dark growth has left the ruin or has even made any attempts to encroach upon this small call it a glade, I guess. Uh, with with the single weep willow standing there. Okay. 
it reminds me, he says, it reminds me of her. Your wife. Yes. She, she was taken from me 20 years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. I appreciate that. I still feel as if she's around sometimes. She probably is. When true love's together, it's together for an eternity. Well, uh, what, what brings all of you out here? Did you take care of the problem? We did. Yeah, they shouldn't be any worry. Excellent. Anyway. And it wasn't a troll, was it? Oh, definitely not. No, it was a bunch of goblins. Hmm. That's not hold... good news. They were held up in a cave. Not too far. How many of them were there? If you don't recall, there were five. There were five, but did we kill all five or did we kill four? We did. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, wait, uh, let, let me check. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm missing five arrows, so yeah. <laughs> you didn't get all the kills. Oh, I know. Although you were you were rolling like mad. I did, um, yes. <laughs> and, you know, he he takes on a very almost commanding presence and pulls out a small notebook and asks you question after question of of where was it um you know again clarifying that there were five he wants to know how they were equipped he wants to know if there was any indication of other visitors he wants to know everything um, um i will answer all these questions why in this regard. interest in goblins? Well, where there's five, I'm sure you know, Master Elf, there's generally more. True. But we did check it, uh, check it out, and there was no sign of more. Well, one can hope they were only a scouting party. That's why we took them out, took them all out. So they can't Perhaps that would be message enough for anyone of their kind come looking for them. Hopefully. But if any of these sort of incidents occur again, may gleam a quicker note to what it is. Maybe the um, men, the Bree Guards Warden, what are they called? The Bree Wardens? Bree Wardens. I mean, they've, they didn't look into this situation. It took... You all, random strangers. Oh, and a new friend of yours, I assume. Yes, uh, yeah. To look into this. Yeah, well, um, Master Shadon here decided to came with us to help us out, so we could bring him here to you. He uh, comes oh. with the. Uh, I don't um with notice. We've we've business. Yeah, that's the word. I, I understand you've requested documents from uh, Rivendell. Oh, I have. Master Alrond has decided to answer me. Uh, yes, uh, but now I can't help wondering, is this something that is related uh, to this issue with, with the orcs? Well, I hope not. Uh, that would be a, a dire... group to be forming indeed no this is this is a different matter with interestingly enough a different group of rangers who have come asking for information i decided to ply what connections i have to try and help them oh the rangers yes uh from the north up near anumanos oh from anumanos from our hometown do they bring any oh. news uh, they, uh, well, I'm sure you know, most of your kind 
don't share information about themselves quite freely. Um, they merely came to me looking for information in my library. Sadly, I didn't have it, so I passed the request on to the Master of Rivendell. What information were they after? Well, uh, it seems that they are interested in something that might be going on in Lake Evendim. Apparently, a, a group of, of rangers has built uh, longboats and sailed out into the lake, which is quite large, and have not returned. And there was some mention of the possibility of something living in the mists. So being from that area, Narniel and Araniel would know that Lake Evendim is interesting in that it is often shrouded in mist. And there are stories, there are legends of the possibility of isles being on the lake. Uh, some of your clan and some of the other groups in the area have even said that they were interested in going out and exploring and trying to find maybe there's an old fortress, maybe there is some abandoned ancient weaponry, uh, but they've always been turned down. Uh, so you both have been traveling for some time. It might be a surprise to you to hear that someone in, in authority has gone ahead and given a group leave to sail into the mists and see what's going on. Hmm. How That's very strange. And these other rangers, they have moved on? Yes, I expected them back in a few days. I, I told them that I uh, would hold on to whatever information Master Alron could, could provide to me until they returned. Well, I would like they, to, of course, uh... didn't share with me where they were going. <laughs> no. I, I understand that some of this, these documents refer to a, a creature, a creature from, from a lake. Yeah, I, in my own histories, uh, I saw mention of the use of some dark magics to summon something foul, uh, and I that it was a a, uh, a line, a fragment or two in several texts, which is why I I sent on to Master Elrond. And whenever you want to come back in, Hampson, if you are thinking about rejoining, unless you're exploring more. <laughs> no, I'll wander back. Didn't find any mushrooms. Um, no, no mushrooms, no. no. Hmm. It would be very interesting to learn more about what you think may be happening in the lake. I've always heard stories about that place. There's something in the lake? What lake? Which lake? Are we it's going around here? Is it a troll? We might do. Really? No, it'll be, it? be a monster, I'm sure. But a troll's a monster, isn't it? Uh, Bigger. Bigger? <gasps> What's bigger than a troll? Um, I'm sure we can find out if you want. Giant? Is there giants? Well, you're all giants to me, but... <laughs> I mean, there's yes, even the lake people are that, I, so, that are yeah. able to eat you. The oh, lake does really. actually. Sorry. No, sorry. The lake does actually connect to the Branduin, which uh, uh, Hampson would know as the Brandywine. Oh. Wow. So you may know in some older maps that you've looked up that there's a lake up north, not too far from the Shire. We have so but, many things we're going to be doing. This is going to be great. We're going to see lots of things. I'm going to learn lots of recipes. We're going to cook some great food. Oh. Any food? Mm. Got a sandwich here, I think. Oh, cheese! Cheese! <laughs> Sorry, you carry on talking. I've got a cheese sandwich to eat. Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
look at yeah, that. Yeah, that's the thing you will find with our <laughs> Hobbit friend here. That is the thing that is mostly on his mind. Food. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, oh yes. I'm... Breakfast, lunch, supper, all the meals, all the, the seven or eight, even nine, if we wanted to add a few extra desserts. Oh, the desserts. That I'm you quite eat. familiar with the proclivities of, of Hobbits. Quite, quite you may have noticed a few family. living in Combi. Yeah, but I've... N- none oh, none better. On the road, for sure. Food as much as this one. Oh, when you only eat that lamus bread, then anything else is, is far better. No? Strawberries and cream. <laughs> Mushroom souffle. Breaker nods at, at Hampson and says, oh, indeed, uh, juicy steak. Oh, a tall steak. stout. Oh, Beats out oh, lembas oh. bread any day. Oh, and just some delicate, succulent venison. Pork. Oh, you take the belly of the pork, you chop it into small bits, and you, you put it in the, the oven and cook it for a long period of time at a low temperature, and you get some wonderful, juicy, tasty food. Oh, 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 oh. And then this ham. Oh, a nice piece of ham. Always keep a big piece of ham in the in the pantry. Oh, yes. Along with cakes. Oh, delightful cakes. Cakes are wonderful. Cupcakes, especially. Handsome. Cupcakes Just are wonderful. Just think of all the food you, as you explore the world that you will come into that you've never met, you've never tried before. Oh, yes, but I can definitely put one thing in my, my book that I'm going to write about the food is don't try Lambus bread. Yes, it's it's it fills you up a little bit, just a little bit, but it's it's got a taste, but then you get that aftertaste, which is like dry powder. No wonder oh, the yeah. elves are so thin. I forgot to tell you, Ange, that uh, uh, one of the most humorous aspects, uh, at least for me, from the last session, is that Hampson decided to break into Oswald Breaker's house and steal some of his cakes. Excuse me, the door was <laughs> open. One. The door, door was breaking. open. It was open and unlocked. It was not, not it some was, of his Let's cakes. clarify. All of his it was cakes. not locked. It was closed. It's and true, but it wasn't locked. The worst part <laughs> is, he didn't share any Piece. He didn't bring any cakes for anyone else. No, he just grabbed the cake out of the pantry. He ate <laughs> sat in a wall every eating. friggin' <sighs> cake that was there. No, he didn't eat everyone. He took one cake. Uh, look, it, it, in his defense, you know, we were expected guests. Likely it was going to be set That's out. That's not defense. It, it would have been it's insulting had he not tried the cake, obviously, <laughs> because. You know, it, it, it would have negated the, in, you know, intended hospitality that was obviously meant in and, and the Ar- cake there. Araniel was there, so I'm not sure how she feels about uh, Hampson just showing up with a cake from someone else's pantry. I want cake now. I didn't approve, but... Yes, we know Trasted didn't approve. Narniel, I don't think, cares. If he'd been, like, if been cake Cap made Daniel out of Lambus bread, cake. then he would have approved. <laughs> but it wasn't. Know, did we know he stole it? Oh, yeah. Well, no, it, well, he, yeah, he no. told you. He said he that there, was, there were cakes in the pantry. But in his, in his view, it wasn't stealing. <laughs> we were uh, expected guests. Yeah. Exactly. They were for okay. us, apparently, but he only brought one at it and didn't share. Nanny, it, it wasn't impressed. It wasn't really on the level of uh, a caper. It was a caper. <laughs> wow. So uh anyway, th- that happened last time. So back to now. Yeah, it's uh it, Old Man Breaker seems to be very uh amused in a camaraderie way with Hampson. He clearly has lived with hobbits for a, a long time. Um nothing of this is is bothering him in fact he's probably more bemused by Traston's response than anything else and then the things you can do with chicken i mean you can take the breast you can take the thighs you can do many many things uh in a in a broth that but chicken chicken broth marvelous master Fantastic hobbit if you thing. don't mind me asking yes, yes yes could you potentially write down your recipe for chicken broth for my own cook I would appreciate oh, it. I'd be delighted to. Yes. She, yes. Then please she's start writing with and some make dishes, it as detailed but... as possible so that you will at least shut up. 
oh, I, I, I can do many things at once. I can continue talking while writing. <laughs> yeah, you see, what Please you don't. do is you first Please have don't. to get the carrots chopped just perfectly. So a little bit of um, I, 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 parsnip kind of goes well if you if you if you do it right. And and some leek also is fantastic. Uh, you could put some peas in there, uh, but it's most important that you make the stock properly. <laughs> Real chicken. Um, Boil um, the carcass, the bones, and you'll go ahead, just have a fantastic stock. Do it. It's wonderful. Matter Spreaker, we also wanted to talk to you about maybe um, obtaining the residence for a little bit longer. I, um, oh, uh, yes, well, I mean... Uh, I have no problem with you using the property while you're helping the town, but... We would pay, of course. We, we kind of have a liking to the place. The hospitality in the town is just marvellous. Yes, Everyone has been so welcoming. Um, ah, so we're speaking of a long-term yeah. lease then? Oh, yes, most yeah. definitely, yes, 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 well... And kind of semi-permanent lodgings. Yes, um, yes, yes. For us. Oh, indeed. Uh, well, very well. Uh, we can uh, we can work that out, and rather than go into the particulars, we already talked about it last time. It'd be about what well, there's five of you, so twenty yes. a total of twenty treasure. I think is what we said. Is that no 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 no? no. I'm sorry. You guys had twenty treasure. We decided it was going to be one treasure point from each person. Yeah. Five thought, treasure. Yes. Yes. Some of that. Yeah. Did you add yeah. the treasure onto the form, the sheet? Uh, I don't know if anybody did it. So, yeah, so technically everybody has five treasure except for Iraniel, who actually has a dwarven necklace that's worth ten treasure on its own that was gifted to her by Narniel. Uh, two, two, no one's, uh, nobody said anything. You know, everybody was fine with it. So you've, you've got a little nest egg there if you ever need it. <laughs> Need treasure, cool. although it was meant as a gift. Um, so yeah, everyone should have five treasure ish, whether it's at the cottage or, and then we decided it was going to be a total of one from each of you. Where's so, the treasure on the map? On the cut on the character sheet, it yeah. is the oh, it strength. Or, uh, it's strength. Yeah. Yeah. Because each point of treasure actually counts as one load unless you have it stored somewhere, right? And I think that's kind of also why you all wanted to kind of nail down the cottage as your home base because it's close to Bree. It's like a half a day's walk. And also you could store stuff there, right? Yeah. Um, okay. So you don't have to carry your treasure around all the time. Oh, right. Okay. So I don't load it into the strength thing then. I wouldn't know. Like I would just write a note somewhere. Um, I've got it written down in my notes that you guys have a total of twenty. Well, total of sixteen. No, fifteen. Okay. Uh, and I assume you're all just kind of leaving it at the the cottage. Would it be appropriate to put it in the treasure rating? Field near. Experience? Uh, you see, I don't know. Oh, is that over by experience? Yeah, that might yeah. be more appropriate. Yeah, because that way it's not carried. It shouldn't affect your strength. Okay. Yeah, that's why I asked. You have treasure at strength and treasure rating at experience. And I would yeah, so the the rating under experience is where you want to put it. So I would just have everybody put four right there. Okay. Oh. So, so Master Breaker, uh, while I'm writing this down, your 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 lovely late wife is is buried here. Yes. Is this the family grave around here? Is that why you visit? Yeah. So he starts to look suspicious because he noticed you weren't there before. It's like, were you listening from around the corner? Oh, I, yes, I was listening, yes. I was looking for mushrooms. Yes, I... Which you can also put I, in your chicken broth. If you want a chicken and mushroom broth, that can add a nice, distinctive, earthy taste to your broth. I did have her buried here. Um, all those years ago. Oh, Unfortunately, nice. there's a foul sense to the place now, so I come here instead. A tragic loss. Oh, I'm sure is. she was a delightful, delightful uh, uh, woman of means. 
She was. Um, Darn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> her her family was quite common, actually, but... Uh, really? You know, she... Yes, uh, but she thankfully uh, agreed to take my hand when I asked it of her. Must have, have, must have uh, been a, a, a worthy match. I like to think so. But you're right, there is a, there is a, oh, it's like a oh, shiver, isn't there, here? Yes. How long has it been like this? Oh, well, the the ruins have been overgrown for almost a decade now. I had some people come out. And, well, at first I tried to maintain it myself, but as you can see, I'm not what I once was. And Then I got the few people who were willing to help me in town to come out and try to maintain it but they they all came back afraid um terrified of something i don't think there's a and troll then, here do you i i do hope not master hobbit i don't know what i would do were there to be a troll would, presence would, would be unfortunate if any, any foul creature disturbed her grave oh that'd be sacrilege Terrible. Oh. You mentioned something curious. You mentioned that you, at the time, recruited the few people left in town willing to uh, be employed by you or to assist you. Yes. Uh, and you mentioned that before you mentioned that they kind of just became wary of this place. Uh are you not well respected in this town? You you own the majority of the town, if not all. Well, yes, but that doesn't... You have to understand, there are certain things that I assist people with, and he nods towards Iraniel and Narniel, that are best kept from the minds of the simpler people. They see me as keeping secrets, as a miser, uh, where I put everything that I have into assisting people like yourselves. They don't like your association with the Rangers of the North? Hmm. Has that not been your experience, Master Elf? Yeah, and, and it's true. There are most of the common folk are very wary of the Rangers. Um, because they're they're out there in the wilderness doing who knows what, and and they should be in the north, not the south. They're the rangers of the north. Why are they in the south? They should be in the north, <laughs> as as some people have been known to say. Indeed, they, they must be in the north. Yes, <laughs> unless they're in the south. But then, why are they in the south when they should be in the north? It's At least just... they haven't gone east or west. That's it's the main thing. Because then they can be Rangers of the East or Rangers of the West. Rangers of the West, isn't that some other group? Hmm. <laughs> it's just a name. Oh, it's, I think it's so... more than a name, Master Elf. I, I think it is. It's 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 like a calling. Isn't that right, ladies? You are you Rangers of the that. North. You're not a Ranger of the North. You are Rangers of the North. That's like a calling. Yeah. It's something more exciting than Lammas bread, that's for sure. <laughs> anything Breaker actually exciting. smiles at that. And anything he uh more exciting than Lammas bread, to be honest. He says, Master Hobbit, it's it's more than just a name sometimes. I would imagine that uh if not your companions themselves, probably someone they know that looks as hale as hardy as as themselves are most likely older than I am. Indeed, indeed, yes, yes, yes. Oh, just just by a few millennia. Not the elves, the rangers. Elves, the rangers aren't going to live millennia, but everyone <laughs> knows the elves are immortal. So, well, actually, I don't know if the common folk do know that. That's an interesting question. They definitely see them as magical and ethereal, but uh, yeah, I think you would blow a random Bree person's mind if either of you told them 
uh, Trastan or Shadon told them how old you were, like they'd be like, "I'm yeah. sorry, I can't, I can't process that amount of time." I'm, I'm sorry, you didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they probably. I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine like the common folk would ever have thought about it because they don't like see them essentially. Right. So it's not like something would be passed on to say, "Oh, this specific elf," because it's not that common to actually see them about. And really, unlike uh, unlike I'm picturing Shadon, most elves travel at least in in human areas, much in the way that uh, Trastan does. Hoods up relatively incognito um Shadon seems much more open and and engaging yeah i find that when i put my uh hood up i don't hear as as well the ears aren't, aren't what they <laughs> used to be even though they're elven so does, you know, does it chafe the tips the age you've probably eaten too much lamas bread you've probably eaten too much lamas bread that's what it is uh, dulls the senses too much lamas bread great <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Breaker continues, and he says the 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 chill you mentioned though I I didn't notice that until oh I don't know a month or two ago, and I really started to feel a sense of unease here, which I've never felt before, even with that foul, fast growing undergrowth. It's That's anything. new, is it? That's been there for almost a decade now. Mm. Not that long. It's quite Was thick. Anything that <laughs> happened around it that is. time that it started, sorry? No. Oh, not that I recall. No. But, you know, these these kinds of things, they've been known to, to crop up here and there in disused places. I I know some of the workers were uh, they were concerned about the, the the undergrowth. They thought that it was a dark thing that it might poison them. It's quite safe. It's just hardy. It's difficult to get rid of. I tried burning it out. I tried cutting it repeatedly. It kept coming back. I, I do sense something quite wrong here. Something interfering with your late wife. It's like her, her spirit is oh, not in a good spot. I've thought much the same, but I don't know what to do. I've no... Beyond some of my books, I have no experience with these matters. She didn't eat Lambus bread, did she? No, Master Hobbit, I don't think she did. That's that's lucky. It would be far I, worse if we'd done that. I, I don't believe Lambus bread is really the source of everything that goes wrong in a, a person's <laughs> travels. Oh, you can't put Lambus bread in a, a stew pot, really, could you? Well, you could do, but would it affect it? Um, it it I, might add a dryness to the, to the chicken broth. I think if you put it in a stew, you don't need to eat a lot of it. Really? But wouldn't it get diluted or melt away? I mean, it would be dumplings. I mean, it's only, it's only bread. I mean, if you think, if you dunk a bit of bread in some broth, the, the, the bread soaks up the goodness that is the broth. That lambus means that if you put a, a bit of dull lambus bread in the broth, that bread isn't you, just you will bread. Get, you will get a, a, a wonderful extra taste from the uh, from the stew, would, would you not? I'm, well, that's I'm picturing... I'm picturing a book by Hampson Cotton titled Experimental Cooking with Lambus Bread. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Lambus Bread. That's not as filling as it's do it. An entire book would exist with only one page. Yeah. <laughs> Lambus Bread. It fills you up. False advertising. Experimental Cooking with Lambus Bread. Page one. Don't. <laughs> um, can, when... Like, we, we were told when the attack started, didn't they? Are they... I'm just trying to connect if it was roughly the same oh, time. The, about the, the attacks were relatively recent. Um, eh, it's it's possible they might be connected, sure. Hmm. Okay. Hey, maybe those goblins did it. Is that what you were thinking? 
That's what I'm thinking. If there's a chill in the air, that means that, you know... Maybe there's, there's more evil. goblins here. We should root them out. How? We have to go find them. Hmm. Well, Mr. Preka, would you... Would you grant us permission to enter, to root, to root out this evil? It is the least we can do. We are heroes of sorts. We are here to protect all and sundry in this area. And there might be a you troll think... there. And I've always wanted to see a troll. You think they might still <laughs> really? I didn't notice. be there? I, I mean, I assume the, the old cellars are probably still down there, but I, I can't imagine... It's, Perhaps. It was just a thought because it seems like the timings. Oh no, we should definitely, definitely take a look. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I get this. It, it's, it's my old grandmother had it. <laughs> she, she had took heritage, you know. You know what they're like. But she, she had always had a feeling that there was something sense. wrong in the world. Yes, a, a sense. She, she used to I... read the tea leaves. Do you know tea leaves? Read the tea leaves. You can you can see your future in tea leaves. I've read of such a thing. Yes, yes, it's it's marvelous. But she had such a a skill for it that it was it was marvelous. And you know, apart from her recipe for for chicken and mushroom broth, that was what she was most known for. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um. Yes, Master Hobbit. You certainly can uh, enter the ruins if you think there I might think be something should. down there. Yes, I I, think... I'm sure my friends aren't afraid of going in there. Even even uh, uh, Master Traston here, who's only had Lambus bread to eat today. Well, I. Oh, no, it was last time. Um, yeah, we don't mean to intrude on your family home, but I think with what you've said about this place and the recent activity nearby, it might be worth just at least a check. I'm it's, gonna go and. Um... No trouble. I, like I said, I only come here to to remember her uh i'm going to go and if, uh, grab... if you don't mind i think i'll i'll pack up my things and and head back to the mansion i'll start drafting oh, yes, up yes. a contract for the cottage yes thank you and, and you had uh something for me master elf looking at shadon uh yes and i'll reach into the pack and i will present him with the various scrolls that uh that i was provided with now you you have to keep care of these scrolls. They are they are quite important, and uh, they uh, they will need to be returned. Oh oh yes, I understand. I, I I've I've borrowed from Master Elrond before. But when your your scribes have finished copying them, I'd uh, appreciate it. And uh, you, you you'll have some time <laughs> while I continue. No, uh, no scribes but me, Master Elf. No no scribes but me. I see. So if you'll all excuse me, he takes the scrolls gingerly uh, under an arm and, and has packed up his, his various things into a small basket that the the uh, the table kind of attaches to, becomes a part of. Very ingenious. And, uh, you know, heads back around the corner and, and heads down the road. Everyone, there is something strange going on here. It's not just me. <laughs> what do you mean, Hampson? What, what did you find? Someone's dug up the grave. What? The presence in there. The grave, his wife. It's open. Exposed. Why didn't you tell him? Why, I didn't think it'd be polite to him. He might get upset. It's def de definitely something that I, I felt... Um, oh, it was like a, a cold shiver down my spine. It sure really was. Just eat something wrong. Well, I only did an amber spread, but oof, that was fine. Uh, I, I'm sure any of us would have felt the chill from seeing an open grave. Yes, but graves aren't supposed to be open, are they? No. But we should have told him. I don't know what you strange elves do as your your burial rituals, but but here we we dump them in the ground, dig them uh, a hole, dump them in, and bury them up. We're fortunate that we rarely have need of, of burials, but that's. Is that because of the Lambus bread? Perhaps a, a, a different topic. Ah, oh, right. I, I, I'm so. I'm keen to see this this open grave. Maybe we can 
Oh yes, follow me, follow me. Quick, 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 gather everything, quick. Just be wary, I sense something evil here. Evil? Dark. And um, yes, we'll follow the follow Hampson. Darker than the Zander spread. I think. <laughs> so if everyone follows Hampson, uh, he can find it again quite easily, and some of you bigger folk might need to move some of the brambles out of the way. Um, they're a nuisance, uh, but they're, you know, if you trust uh, uh, Breaker, I mean, he said they're they're not poisonous, they're not dangerous, they're just hardy and fast-growing, so... Just, just crawl um, under this bit. Just crawl under it. That's it. Get in the mud and crawl. It's easy. <laughs> or you could hack them out of the way, those of you with swords. Is there a way to actually check uh, again, even though he said it, if they are poisonous? Maybe he's wrong. Uh, we would know, wouldn't sure. we? Would, would we, we know? Uh, you I, you I, can yeah, make a lore check. I didn't get poisoned. A lore did you mm -hmm. try? I just want to check. I'm gonna roll a lore, but I don't know nothing. I'm John Snow. <laughs> um, but yeah, I you say are... we, we would know them though. <gasps> uh, you've seen them, right? So you've you've definitely seen them in your travels. You've seen them up near Anuminas. Um, Hampson has seen them in the old forest. Right. I mean, they are. They seem to be ever present, uh, and everywhere that they are, people have kind of developed this this I don't know story uh, or or their own her, like folktale is what I'm looking for that uh, these things this this type of of tangle grows uh, in places of of darkness of shadow. Um, but in your personal experiences with them, I, it, they're, it's just a it's just a dark, you know, thorny plant. Okay. As far as you can tell, uh, and that goes for Traston as well with that that recent roll. It doesn't appear to be a poisonous plant of any kind. It, will... A nuisance again, for sure. Nobody likes to get poked by all of these sharp barbs. But it's it's not like one of those uh, those plants that hooks onto you and like sticks. Like they're just barbs, and if you get hooked by them, you you know you might get a snag in your clothes, you might get a few deep scratches depending upon how much you you engage with it. Um, I assume that you're all hardy adventuring folks, so nobody has allergies. <laughs> so, as long as these gonna... barbs don't hold paper, because that's the worst type. Of I might develop allergies though because of lambus bread, but no, not at the moment. Hey, Someone right. who doesn't like lambus bread, you do like to talk about it. Oh, I have to <laughs> warn you all of the evilness of lambus bread. Uh, so, so as you're all option, kind of moving in, go ahead, Shadon. Yeah, no, while well, considering the option of, of crawling down in the wonderful mud and, and going through that small crawl space area, uh, instead I'll start hacking a path away for people to, to, to approach the grave. Um, sure. And in doing so, I may be one of the first to to reach uh, the grave um... perhaps and the brambles cut very easily um, they are you know th they're thick uh, thicker than than you know most common breeds uh, but yeah, it's a plant and you've got a sharp enough sword it'll hack right through it right. Uh, especially an elven blade is is going to have no trouble with these so, uh, yeah, you can easily hack yourself a path. What was that, Skun? Oh, yeah. Okay, I take my... <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I do have... A, so, I yeah, if you're clearing a path, path that's, it's, it's very easy to find very quickly the open grave. The grave is kind of situated in what you would guess was probably at some point the chapel of the mansion. Um, chapel's not the right word because it's not like there's religion in the One Ring. More just a, a, a hall of contemplation mm -hmm. uh, would be, I guess, the best way to describe it. Um, 
perhaps maybe it was attached to a library, maybe kind of a meditative state, uh, uh, place, meditative place. Regardless, um, it's it's in this area that would have once been a, a pretty grand uh, hall, as it were. Um, as you're all moving through, whether you're you're avoiding the brambles or hacking them out of the way, uh, I will note that all of you uh, very quickly feel that sense of unease as you set foot into the ruins. And despite Hampson saying it's evil, you know, which is his perception, it is important to note that mostly what you feel is sadness. Um, maybe a hint of anger. And maybe something a little dark. Um, everybody is going to take a point of shadow for just entering the, the ruin. How much and yeah, you find that? But I, you know what? So if your shadow ever overcomes your wits, it becomes a problem. So... And this is temporary shadow. It's not permanent. Like, there are ways for it to go away. Uh, it's okay. Heart, not wits, but okay. Yeah. Or heart, yes, thank you. No. So Jake. It's higher than your heart rating. Uh, so you just put one if point it, in the If, if it gets to box. that point, yes. Yeah, yeah just put one point. Oh. The, now, the, before... Hang on. Before we get into what's happening here, let's take a short break, give everybody a chance to use the bathroom, maybe refill a drink. Um, and then we'll come back. We've got an hour left. Remember, we got to truncate this session. So let's do a quick break. Jake, if you could set that up for us. A couple of you are hacking the uh, the brambles away, mm -hmm. and they're definitely kind of a sickly sweet scent uh, once you cut them, uh, but not overpowering. You know, it's just noticeable. But as you do so, you become aware, uh, and although, you know. Master Hobbit had a, a fantastic success in discovering the, the grave that has been tampered with. Uh, he may have been too focused on the uh, unfortunate um, lady uh, of Old Man Breaker to notice so many holes. There are holes in the ground oh. in several different places. Uh, they are not small, uh, but they're not super large either. Hampson could probably crawl into one, for sure. Go. Oh. Maybe Trathan. I don't know how large Shadon is. Not in terms of girth, but I mean like tallness and just overall size. Uh, elves of the Woodland Realm tend to be more compact, let's say. Uh, than, than some folk, although some are quite tall. Thranduil is quite tall. Mm -hmm. Regardless, um, elves are also very leaf, so it's it's certainly possible that Shadon and Traston might, but I don't know about our our tough rangers. Uh, the Numenorean descent, perhaps, but still that kind of mannish, uh, stocky size compared to an elf or a uh, hobbit. But there are several holes, and do, go ahead. Do they look like um, they've been like grave size though? So they've been grave robbed, or do they look like treasure hunting, looking for something holes? So from the way that they're they're dug might not even be the right word, uh, although I guess it, technically it is because it's in the ground. But it looks like they are exits rather than digging a hole to look for something if you take my meaning so think oh, of crikey do you ever have you ever seen i don't know how 
how bad ants are in in some of the parts of the world that you all are in. But like right now on my driveway, in the cracks of my driveway, there's these little little piles that are forming yeah. as ants are coming up out of the ground in this time of year. It looks kind of like that, but bigger. So the hole itself is probably two and a half feet, sometimes three to four feet uh, in diameter. What, the actual so, hole is that, or like yes. the mound? No, the hole. And then the wow. mound is kind of, yeah, out from that. So they're going to be like very <clears throat> noticeable. They are noticeable once you start cutting away the, the brambles, yes. Um, okay, it, it I turned was, to everybody more, and I It was say, more Hampson's magical success that he didn't fall into one, that he found the thing that he was looking for. I just to say, every, stop, everybody. Before you step forward, this, this, this look at these. I know these, the holes. No, they're not. They're, they're like something's escaped from the ground. I know. Evil. Big worms, perhaps. Spiders. I think well, they could have to be very big worms. Holy Goblins. Bird. Trolls. Anything going to come out. I mean, a lamba spread monster for all we know. Do, have we seen the um, the grave yet or not yet? Yeah, I mean, Hampson takes you right to it. It's just that as you're hacking away some of the other uh, brambles, you're seeing these holes. And there's probably, as you hack away some of the brambles, there's probably four or five different holes. Giant rabbits. Oh, okay, no. Big rabbit. Giant rabbits. Oh. I put my hand on Handsome's shoulder. Handsome. What a pot stew! We can have rabbit stew. Hansel, oh. I know you're really excited. Oh and yeah. I know... Should we listen, have a look? listen. You need to be careful. This whole area is a sense of. It's just. It doesn't feel nice. I know. I told you that, remember? I, yeah, I, I know. But you need to calm down. You're just. I doesn't. A little bit excitable. Give me a hunting check. Ooh. One person, whoever wants to do it. Um, not me. I'll, I'll roll, because I've not rolled for three weeks. Right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, do a bonus die or anything? Are you favored? Yes. So that should be f figured in automatically. So um, I'll try it and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Get back to the table. I'm too busy trying to calm handsome down before he goes running in and falling in a hole and disturbing something handsome, I, I, but I think your it's... your assessment hang on even with the failure and your assessment is is pretty dead on that these are these are things that have come up out of the ground um right. and as far as what it is it's difficult to say you don't really see any discernible tracks or anything that looks like tracks to you um, okay. in terms of like footprinted tracks, right? Which probably makes sense. I, you know, people that would leave that kind of track aren't going to just burst up out of the ground. But go ahead, Jake. She was saying think something. The fact that, that Master Breaker was here almost every day. These these holes must be very old and, and they were covered up by the brambles. This must But he said something. he hadn't been in here in a while. He had that sense of uh, evil, shadowy that, doubt. If you take a look at the grave... Maybe he dug the grave up. You'll notice that the skeleton doesn't have... doesn't have her wedding ring on it. It doesn't have I know! Stolen! But that dress! Uh, no, no. We, do, we, do we know how long ago his wife died? 20 years. So, he said it was 20 years ago. Uh, and the grave itself, because of where it's situated... It's it's more of a cairn, right? Um, so the 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 stones that would have been piled up over her in this ruin, I, there is some dirt that was kind of pushed aside, but the the stones that would have been piled up around her have been scattered, removed, right? Um, but there's still a very discernible shape of like that's what uh, I, she's in. I think that it's been very difficult for for, for Master Breaker to keep up. Yes. everything that he owns and to be able to afford it and he must have simply come here to to retrieve some of his wife's jewelry that was buried with her a and it must be very sad that he had had to have done that uh, i i believe he's, he's just 
heartbroken from having to go and do that, but I mean, it, but it, it, it's if obvious. He, if he did that, why didn't he recover the corpse up? Is there a way to check how old this body is? Because if it was 20 years, wouldn't the body still have some flesh or anything on it? Because 20 years isn't that long for a full-on skeleton. Yeah, it depends how full, how sealed it was. Yeah, oh, like you're 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 talking about a cairn that has holes and rocks, right? And a a body that is not treated the way modern day bodies are treated. Like bodies disintegrate fairly quickly. Flesh disintegrates fairly quickly in in the wild. I've actually seen some really I, cool um, videos. <laughs> I check the a I deer, check the stones, the stones and the soil, like because. If the stones had been knocked off recently, they'd be quite clean. Huh? But if they've yeah. like got moss or things growing on them, they might have been disturbed. Ooh. So no, they're quite clean. Ah. Uh, see, this just recent. He, he's he's grief stricken. He couldn't bring himself to come back and spend more time and cover up the grave. Obviously. Maybe. And why don't you make? Him. Since since Ange was checking the stones, uh, why don't you make a scan check for me? Who, me? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. It's not your best skill. It's fine. It's fine. All, uh, of all the good rolls we did last time, yeah. we only do bad rolls now. Sorry. Miss, miss, Mr. GM, um, can I scan yes. back into my memory? Uh, okay. Both uh, 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 basically trying to use my law skill. Do I remember the story of Old Man Breaker? Was there a story whispered around when she died? Sure. Uh, so when you all first came to Combi and you were kind of asking around and talking to people, you would have encountered the sentiment that people are not terribly fond of him there there is a sense in combi that he actually drove her to um he drove her away right like his coldness and his focus on his books and his money drove her away uh, that's what the people tend to think, and that's part of the reason why they have this lack of respect for him. But, you know, if he drove her away, would he have put her in this place that they both loved? Would he still come out here, apparently quite often, as Shadon learned? Uh, it, a weekly affair, as it were. Would he come out here every week to remember her, to to sit before the willow? It's difficult to say. You're getting a lot of mixed messages. Mm. Okay. Well, we we certainly know that whatever has come out from the ground has not disturbed him at all. Should we should we see if we can check down these these holes? Maybe well, drop a, a, a lantern or a light down there. He did say mention that the basements might still be intact. Maybe we should um, we should go down there and have a look. Yeah, um, we can try and find an entrance. Maybe then try and just dropping down a hole that we can't see through. <laughs> we, we, we have two fine elves that have good good vision in the, in, the, in the night and it's daytime. I mean, how how bad can it be? We can just, okay, just, the just drop a, drop a, drop, drop him down there. He's got lamber spread. He'll bounce. I'm a, I'm a little but too large fit. for the holes. It, it, it might be more comfortable if we found a, 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 an entranceway, perhaps. A, perhaps, a, yes, yes, yes. That yes. might be a little more comfortable. There might be a troll there guarding it. That could be insane. It could be amazing. Oh, I could, I, this is so good. I'm having so much fun. Thank you. So as, this is great. If you're going to look for an entrance, uh, yeah. it's it's relatively easy to find one. Uh, there is what would have been after you clear some of the brambles away. 
you imagine there probably would have been like a door and an enclosed space and a stairway going down as it is you find some remnants of tumbled down walls there might be some indication of of splinters of the door left on the ground and just an open stairway heading down into the dark so going down do we we would carry like torches and stuff on we? sure it's part of your mm. adventuring gear you can break out some torches head down there yes We'll um, crack a torch and... Who's going the first, then? I'll go first. You sure don't mean it? I could sneak in there. I'm very good at sneaking around. Yes, but there may be... We don't know if there's no. anything down there that may be I'm sneaking not, I'm not going to start this, no. That, that's, what, that's what I'm hoping for. There might be a cake <laughs> down there, for all I know. <laughs> I can't imagine book. it'd still be good. It depends. He may have put it there. We don't know. These are things. He, he you know, he's... Yes, I don't Handsome. know. What? Shh. Really? We need to be quiet in case there's anything down there. Stay close to me. So we don't want to announce our Shh. intention to enter? No, we don't. Wait, isn't that rude? Not if they want to kill us. Stay close mm. and be quiet. I, 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 Not as good. rude as taking someone's cake without asking. Who wants to kill us? We don't know. And as soon as we find out, we stay quiet. Okay. You want to learn to is, adventure? Is Narnia then... already started walking down the stairs? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm picturing. Okay. Stay close to me, but she's be gone. quiet. She, she, oh, yeah. <laughs> she's gone. We, she's gone. Yes, well, come on then. Okay, well, you go first, or do you want me to go first? Do you I want just to hide drag, behind me? I just me? grab his hand and drag him down behind do, me. Do you want to hide behind me? Yeah, I'll protect so, you. So, Narnia, are you holding a torch? Um, Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. as you head down into the dark, um, it goes down, you know, a decent ways, uh, and then it kind of hooks a left and comes around. So this is a relatively deep stair, uh, but it does cut back on itself. And as you're walking downwards, the, the torch is kind of sputtering, and in a couple of instances at first... Uh, the deeper you go, you see the, hor the the torch, like the heat from it, catch and ignite uh, some cobwebs, right? And the deeper you go, more of those cobwebs are becoming apparent until you reach the landing. And as you kind of move the torch around to look around, it does land into a kind of an open area. Um... But there's a lot of webbing. Uh, a lot. It's, it's and clear some that, like, of it... Like, there's not been people, been anybody wandering around. No, no. Because a lot of the webs in the stairway were going literally across the path that you would have been walking down. So no one's been down here in a very long time. Um, mm. Once you hit that landing, though, the webbing is, is, is quite thick. Uh, still easily, you know, just waving the torch around, kind of burns it off. It's no big deal. Um, your assessment is probably, you know, just there's lots of insects down here. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, there's a lot of furniture broken. Um, there's a large shape uh, in one corner that is covered by some kind of canvas or linen um some kind of tarp as it were uh and there are three doors uh leading into the cellar one to the right one to the left and one straight ahead they're single size door it's nothing grandiose like a double sized door but this is clearly just kind of a a main area to the cellar is it in the way we, we've come down is there an easy way to get bearings to where we saw the holes that's kind of what i'm aiming for to see sure so the holes that you would have seen they came from a part of the the ruin that is still you would guess probably 20 to 30 meters from your current position so it's likely that those holes uh, unless going through one of the rooms which would be kind of more to your left it's likely those holes may not have intersected with this area. It depends on whether or not 
the cellars uh, were underneath the entire uh, uh, layout, as it were, of the of the, the manor. Um, yeah, so I'll just make sure that everyone's behind at the doors. I was like, so um, which way? If there's a wine uh, cellar I could do with some red wine to go with the rabbit we're going to find. Vincent. Shh. Sorry. Shh. Sorry. I, if we find any red wine no, in the wine cellar. No, we're talking about food. We're talking about he, he investigating. Remember you wanted to do some oh, yes. traveling and yes, investigating. Yes. I, I wasn't so, talking about food. Just wanted no. the red wine. Okay. Shh. Would you like some red wine? Huh? Which way? <laughs> oh, let's go left. It's always good to I, go left. Um, I cautiously pull my hood up and just look up at the ceiling quickly. You're okay. looking for uh, spiders? Nope. Oh. Rack. The ceiling is arched because uh, you're quite deep now at this point after doing the switch back on the stairwell. Um, it is a vaulted ceiling. It's probably a good... I guess it would be three and a half to four meters tall. Okay. Um, and the, the large form in one corner of the, the main room that you're currently in is actually near the height of the ceiling. It's quite a large thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's quite tall. And the arches kind of come together in, in a peak. Great architecture. Um, your guess would be that this is probably um, pre uh, pre time. Uh, this this looks like it might even have hints of of elven influence in it. So okay. could be Numenorian. Um, is okay. I'm I hold um the, the the big the big thing. What is it? Uh, it's covered in a tarp. What Big old sheet. Do you think it's a troll? <laughs> I think a troll would have moved by now with your sort with the talking. Don't don't well, don't they get turned to stone? I will step forward and I heard a story once about that. Lift the tarpaulin up. Okay. Handsome come and help. Uh, look you're just lifting it up, you're not pulling it down? You want to peek underneath? I'm just peeking. Do you want me to go peeking. underneath? Do you want me to go down to have a look? I'm going to go down through her legs and look at the uh, 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 in this, whatever's under the top all in. Through so, her legs, look at somebody else's legs. Hampson definitely gets a better view because you can kind of get underneath her and look up. <laughs> and the oh, light God. from the Stay torches. The mind right now. <laughs> We're, we're not paying attention to what you're saying, uh, Brian, now. Sorry. We're, we're is filtering through the sheet. And it is, in fact, a troll. I'm going to come out and pull it down. <laughs> Grab the top pull in from her. Just pull it close. What's a troll doing yeah. there? It's a troll. What, a real <laughs> troll or a statue of a troll? I don't know. I didn't have a chance to ask It's, it. it's <laughs> not <laughs> moving. It appears to be made of stone. But oh. trolls do turn to stone in sunlight. I was right! It's a troll, it's a troll. Yeah. Okay, quick, I'm starting wow. to pull it down now. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll bow to that. You were correct. Master See? Robert. Always said there was a troll. No yes. one believed me, but I know this area like the back of my hairy feet. Question might be, how did something that size Can get down here? But well, there's no sunlight. Is it possible this place was built around it? I mean... Does it seem Possible. to be petrified in the shape of a, like... Oh, that's a good question. Uh, no, actually, it's not. It's just standing with its hands held before it, kind of like this, almost as if it was holding something at some point. It, it uh, be either holding, holding it down that's, or that's up. Of a is, it, is it possible that there might be a spell that simulates sunlight where, that a troll would absolutely turn, turn that's by? ridiculous gosh no troll i mean pose like this and wait for sunlight <laughs> this is obviously man-made you know, and i'd like to make a roll for that wouldn't be a pose okay 
But if there are, was, are you a... gonna go look at it closely yeah. to try and determine? Yeah. If there okay, was give me a, a spell that could turn a scan and roll. into stone, and he would attack and turn into stone, just when he. Uh, hit. Of course, it would help if I actually went over here. I mean, it's not the craziest thing I've heard. And I've heard him talk about food all day. Maybe the Troet Lambus bread didn't agree with it. So, it's difficult to say. Oh, in in like defense it. of Shadon's theory, though, when you take a closer look at it without being kind of like flabbergasted that it's a troll, as I assume Hamson was, it is like on like a plinth. So it probably carved, but it's tough to say. Trolls do turn to stone. Is there a Can they turn back around the area? Not to your knowledge, uh, not to anyone's knowledge. Once once a troll turns to stone in sunlight, it is essentially dead. Oh, um, right, and okay. it is a statue from that point forward. Um, now, to answer Goon's question, is it possible that there might be a spell? Well, you have to keep in mind, first of all, that in Middle Earth, there's not really spells. Uh, there's magic. Uh, but it's not like spells you learn from a book. No, now, but I would say, like, I've seen in the movie that Gandalf creates light, but would that be, right. a, in a way, similar it... to sunlight, that a troll could be uh, turned to stone by it? The only thing in your elven knowledge yeah. that would be capable of doing such a thing would be one of the original Silmarils, uh, which hold hmm. the light of stars in them. Uh, but those have been destroyed, lost for millennia. So now you do also notice anybody who's taking a closer look at the room, you do notice that there are like windows or the structure of windows. They've been kind of bricked in by different types of stone than the walls themselves are made of. So it's possible that this was initially something else and then was built on top of it would make no sense for there to be window frames in something this far underground it's is that that's the only thing in this room isn't it well i mean aside from some broken furniture things like that it looks like this might have just been used as a storeroom by people who held the manor above um if you wanted to take time looking for anything else, I mean, I, I would go ahead and tell you that there's not really anything useful here. I, this is just old stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. No, I just had it. I would, wondered in my mind whether it was more of in back when it was pre used before it was in this Mr. Master Freaker's family. I gotcha. Whether it would be no, you, you know, basically someone you get the sense. Something. Right. No, you get the sense that this was, if this was a pre-existing structure, it was adapted by whoever came after and built the manor on top of it as just a cellar. So I think Ange said something about heading left. Is that correct? Or, or Hampson did? Always go left. Left, left, left. Okay. The, <laughs> don't the get doors off. are kind of hanging off their hinges, kind of disused, but they are still there. Um... They're in the process of, of slow disintegration. Uh, Rania, will you uh, go first? I'll protect you behind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, think, I think Narnia's still going first. Did she go left or right? That's the question. It's a good question. Um, left. Or forward. I, to be honest, I, I probably would go left. It was the only suggestion, and... I think so heading more, left. But, so yeah, she goes forward, been... I go behind, and Handsome's um, is behind me. So like three of us are sure. all going to look at. This kind of right door. behind you, kind of holding sure. on to your clothing as if I'm staying close. You told me to stay close. That's fine. <laughs> like a so heading child, left, trying so not the, to the, lose her mummy. The arched doorways that you're going through. First of all, the doors that were kind of attached that are kind of hanging off the hinges 
they don't look like they were initially there. This looks to have been just an open archway at some point, and somebody just added a door to it. And the hallway beyond looks more rough. It looks like it was dug out and bricked over to create a room, a passageway, right? And it's a very short one that then opens up into another larger, again, vaulted chamber, but this is kind of that newer or different kind of brick, which is very similar to the bricks that are above ground. And yeah. this room is filled with a couple of huge barrels that are easily two meters tall, maybe five meters deep. They're laying on their side on these racks. And that's on your, your right-hand side. And on the left-hand side is just a floor-to-ceiling, wall-to-wall rack of bottles. Oh, God. Are we going to imitate a scene <laughs> of the movie The Hobbit and escape in these barrels like the dwarves? <laughs> <laughs> um, These barrels turn... are quite a bit larger than that. Shaden, you... do you want to check the next one? This is just full of old, old bottles that look empty, and I start to turn around and usher him out before he sees them. <laughs> yeah, I, and you know, I, I, I kind of want to know more. I, I, I'm thinking more about the lore of this place. If there's okay. anything now that I'm here, does it? Does it do anything to to remind me of any stories? You may lower I've... roll. Okay. Anybody else doing anything while Jake is kind of pondering? I do a quick turn and usher somebody out of the first room. And I will kind of dodge round her to go and look at the bottles of wine. <laughs> it's generally, and it's just like, how did you know? Well, every, every good house would, would have a wine cellar. Huh. And just think, some of this wine could be... This could... Oh, this could be the treasure that I'm looking for. Right, you've got... You, you've got five minutes to take two. I'm going to go and check the room next door. No worries. I'm very good at timekeeping. I have a pocket watch, remember? No, we will. We know what your timekeeping's like. We will be back for you in, after we've checked the other rooms. You have a pocket watch then, so you know exactly how much time's passed. We just we, know. You've got enough time for us to check the other rooms. Uh, yes, enough we know. time. We know you don't measure time with your pocket watch, you measure time with your stomach. Well, uh, 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 no, lunches actually, and everybody your knows you measure and... time with measuring spoons because you have to add specific amounts to recipes. That, that's it. You you measure your your food by your waist. Hence why you are as skinny as you are, because all you eat is Lambus bread. So Good meal. You need a good meal. While you're discussing uh, how much uh, Hampson is allowed to, to peruse, uh, Shadon, you, with that check, you get the sense that this is definitely like an older existing structure that would have outdated the structure above and certainly the added on structures. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it looks like it could potentially have been from the first age even, uh, probably the time of, of Numenor, uh, late first age, maybe early second age. And it's odd that it's underground, but it's not unheard of. Uh, ages are long and things happen uh there have could have been a mudslide there could have been a larger hill here that collapsed upon itself it could have been even been the act of of some titanic power like you've read about in the old lore so it's difficult to say uh, but this is definitely an interesting structure and as you're looking around you really become aware that like the stairway down to this point was newer construction than this room. This this central room is, for, for lack of a better description, it looks like it could have been some kind of pavilion that you would find on a hill in Rivendell or, or in Linden. Um, so yeah, that's yeah, what you I get. I think I'm going to want to start like doing things around here, like measuring, taking notes. 
uh, sure. for comparison's sake. Because if this exactly is what Hampson's doing. That old. But maybe for different So reasons. Hampson is taking notes on the wine cellar. Uh, you guys I'm... come back into the main room and Shadon has pulled out a measuring stick and some other uh, a notebook and he's measuring the room. What is everybody else doing? I, I was going to go into the other room. Okay. Which one? The right or the straight ahead from the stairway? So we went left. You went left. You've still got straight ahead or right. Uh, straight ahead. Okay, so straight ahead. That door, uh, similar construction. Looks like it was an already existing archway. Somebody slapped the door on it. Looks like they built a tunnel uh, past it. And this particular area um, looks to have been some kind of deep food stores. Oh, God. Um, it all the food is gone. Like the shelves are practically oh. barren. I mean, this this would have been used 20 years ago. So anything remaining on the I, it's there's not even a sense of rot here anymore because it's all rotted away. It's all disintegrated, right? Um, but it definitely would have been it, it had has the sense of having been some kind of food storage area. Oh, and I should have mentioned that this actually went deeper. So there's an additional stairwell that went down deeper in the earth, cooler, things keep less, keep longer. So yeah. Yeah. But it's like still a dead end though. It, yes. Unless you want to search for something else. What I might do is scoot around like, I don't know, you know. Hey, take your time. Se secret doors. Take your time. Secret okay. Okay. <laughs> Give me let's let's see if we can succeed at any checks today. Give me a scan oh. check. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you can spend hope. You can spend hope to give yourself an extra die. Not for this. Okay. I wish ah. I had though. <laughs> nope. We suck today. We uh, really, really suck. That doesn't mean that there was a door there, but yeah, you don't find anything. Thank goodness we got food to talk about. We're not making any skill checks. Yeah. Food is always the root of everything. Are. The dice are not feeling us tonight. That one, is the worst room skill left. check we feel in, yeah. talking about food. One we room head left. To last, head to the last room. Yeah. Who's um, going in? Me. I, yeah, I'm also going to I haven't in. been in any real room, so I'm going to check the last room then. Nope. So, Trastan, you open the door again. Very similar. There's a hallway, later construction, dug out bricked through, uh, bricked over. Uh, and as you go down the hall, this hall extends for a while, and this is, from your sense of uh, uh, awareness, uh, this is kind of getting closer to where the lady Karen was and those other holes would have been. Oh. Um, and the spiderwebs start getting thick. Oh. And at first, I assume you have a torch if you're going down here by yourself. Um, aren't elves in this world also dark visioned? No, they do not. Then I yeah. They I see very see. well, but you still need a source of light. You but could have I... a candle and see as clearly as somebody with a torch, but you need some light. I would assume I have some light source. Yes. Okay. So. As you go deeper into the, the tunnel, uh, it is, first of all, you get the sense that it's sloping downwards. And you know, again, from your, your orientation, your, your awareness of the manor and everything, that this is heading down. You'll recall that we said that the manor, or, or the ruin, I guess I should say, was on top of a large bluff that's overlooking um, the 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 Midgewater Marshes. So this tunnel is heading down. Pretty, it starts gently, but it slowly becomes more and more steep down towards the Midgewater Marshes. So underneath, actually. And yes, and at first, it's lightly webbed over but it's getting thicker and thicker and in fact the webs themselves are getting thicker and more mm -hmm. viscous 
and thick and it gets to the point where your light source isn't even cutting the webs, isn't burning the webs anymore. You would have to literally cut them to go further. Would and I as assume you this would be walked, a spider nest? It would be a good assumption, because as you walk, if you're looking around at all, you do notice... Part way up the wall, sometimes in the ceiling itself, there are holes that have been dug that probably go up to the surface of the, the manor. Now, as to why this tunnel was here, unless you decide to get a blade out and start hacking, you're not quite sure uh, why this tunnel would be here going down deeper and deeper into the Midgewater Marsh. And but the I tunnel would, is constructed, and would which is not something that spiders do. Would Tresson know that spiders in this world are that big, scary? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, there are there are spiders in in Merkwood that are that large. Absolutely. Then I would because I, if I see the webbing being this uh, thick and oh uh, yeah, well, this many, I would turn back. Go to and through the door and close it behind me. <laughs> okay. It won't make any difference. <laughs> um, so, okay. Master Hobbit, I know you would like to meet a troll, but how are you about spiders? Uh, bah, bah. This one will go well with lamb. Oh, that one, duck legs. Uh, so, sorry, sorry, um, uh, sorry. What was that? I'm, I'm, so this wine is magnificent. There's even a bottle of elven wine here. Uh, no, right, it's elven right. because it's oh, right, not right, an language right, right. I can write. Um, you read. Um, how do you feel about spiders? I've never tasted one. Do they cook up? I'm not <laughs> asking the taste. How do you feel about spiders? Oh, uh, you know, you, you 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 roll up some parchment and you slap them and and, and squish them. And just keep them out of the yeah, pantry, and they'll be fine. Don't think there's a big enough size parchment to slap this spider. What Assuming I see the webbing. You've seen a spider? No, I've seen the big, thick layer of webbing, and it it could be that there's one really big spider behind this door. Yet you ran away. I thought you were a hero. Don't you want to go and vanquish an evil spider? I don't like spiders. Too many legs. Oh. Oh. Huh. It's okay, we've got rangers in the north. They're better fighters than you are anyway. You eat lamber spread. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going back, going back to the wine. Oh, oh this one. Um, as, red soon, as soon as red wine. As soon oh, as uh, Hamston turns his back to me, I take my dagger and stab him. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, Go to the dark side. Fall to shadow. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah well, this hobbit would be the biggest reason for me to go to the shadow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's everybody thinking? Because we're nearing the end here. I want to have some idea of what you're interested in doing next session. Red wine, white wine, champagne. Yeah. Right. All right. That's it. The stiff <laughs> has, has, <laughs> Has He's Hansen going to have a wine tasting in the middle to check them? He will. He will find the ones that have uh, seals, especially on the red wine side, that should be perfectly well at being this age. Some but, uh, are sealed. Yes, but we'll, not all of them. We'll, we'll yeah, be going. Okay. We'll, be, we'll be looking for sealed just, ones. I just but, wanted to make sure yeah. that Hansen yeah. was, you know, aware enough to know that they had to be sealed. Oh Otherwise they'd probably yes. Go into vinegar. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. He's, he's looking for stuff for. Uh, yes. Yeah. A slow roast lamb with uh, cinnamon fennel and um, some citrus fruit sounds a, a perfect dish for one bottle of red wine, and then some um, some slow roasted duck. Uh, duck legs uh, in a red wine sauce I will before next session since we have two weeks I will put together a list of of sealed wines that you discover in the cellar Excellent. as you kind of yeah. look through them well, I'm sure Hanson will dates. pick up half half a dozen bottles you know in the time oh that one's good yeah that one that one will go in there well, yeah just, that one will go in there don't be surprised if you open up one bottle of wine and you hear 
Why did you come home so late? I stayed home all day and cooked a lovely dinner, and you didn't call and you didn't tell me. Hamson, I believe, is currently unattached. Uh, he's unattached. Yes. Wow. Well, he is attached, but it's although uh, he does food. he does have an interested party in Kambi. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's true. Yes, he does. Um, oh, yes. <gasps> I think yes. we're going to need a cookbook at the end of this. <laughs> uh, end of this com- yeah. campaign, we need a Hamson cookbook. Yeah. Because <laughs> some of these some of these recipes you're coming out with sound really good. <laughs> 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 so what are what are we thinking for next time? There's um, a couple of things that have been dangled suckling, in front of you. Suckling roast, um, new potato. Yeah, and Hampson is probably going to yeah. be doing some cooking. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, obviously we have the mystery of what is coming out of those holes and why is it in such close proximity to that last room that uh, our uh, our fearless elf has uh, closed the door on. Well, I, uh, there I, is I, another mystery as well. Why would someone abandon such good quality wine? Come on! <laughs> I would say it might be because of the spiders, but I just now decided that Tristan isn't afraid of a lot of animals except for spiders. He's arachnophobic. <laughs> arachnophobic. <laughs> um, see, I'm, I'm very intrigued as to where that tunnel leads. That's the problem. I, because I it goes under the cool. marshes. I mean, I know it's going to be an issue getting through. Well, so far, you know it goes down to the marshes. Whether or not it goes under is... You'd have to go down to see. But that's a ways... That's kind of a ways away. It's not usual, I'm guessing. It's not, like, usual to build a tunnel that far away from... Well, knowing what um, Narnia is like, she will go down and I'll have to follow behind and making sure that she doesn't die. (laughs) Right? Please. So, (laughs) I will say that at least anybody with a sense of kind of old architecture. Shadon can probably say this easily enough, even though he was focused more on the the older version, uh, the larger room. Once he is aware of that the tunnel goes down like that, he could probably tell everyone that it was not uncommon for people in these kind of old mansions slash fortresses to have escape tunnels. You know, I, I, I mean, you had a way out of the fortress or into the fortress he, that he was probably you could around take when it was discreetly. Built. He probably was. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and and if he, you know, had access to some of the old maps in Rivendell, he might even be able to figure out what this place was at one point. Yeah, uh, if I both times, Rivendell, both the original structure and you know, and interestingly enough, that's something you can do during a fellowship phase, as you or during Yule. Actually, you can return home, and being that you're from Rivendell, you can search the libraries for more information regardless yeah um yeah shadon would be able to tell you this is probably some kind of an escape tunnel that goes down to the base of the the um the bluff and lets out into the marshes Mm. um so can you just remind me have we discovered the part where the things were digging out yeah so it's uh uh, assuming that trastin informs all of you yeah there are holes branching off of that tunnel that's heading downwards. Okay. And they I are think... going up. So I assume so those something tunnels came are made out by of this p- 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 tunnel. Spiders. Right. So is there any tracks on the floor before we So I would for next week or the, when we come back, I will probably like try and investigate those a little bit and sure. check We can investigate the tunnel next stuff week. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think I will probably more intrigued. Sounds good. I want to know what came out, basically. Okay. All right. Yeah, we need to know for sure. Awesome. Lovely. That's cool. 